In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. This is uh, Bishop Murray Emmanuel. Just would like to say a few words in uh, reference to the e-safety commissioner and ex-corp matter. I do acknowledge the Australian government's desire to have the videos removed because of their graphic nature. I do not condone any acts of terrorism or violence. However, noting our God-given right to freedom of speech and freedom of religion, I'm not opposed to the videos remaining on social media. I would be of great concern if people use the attack on me to serve their own political interests to control free speech. My beloveds, I'm talking to everyone as a simple human being like everyone else that lives on the face of this globe. This simple human being happens to be a Christian and a very proud one, and by the grace of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, will always be proud to be a Christian. My Lord always taught me to love everyone, to pray for everyone, and to speak the truth as is. We need to understand one thing, the very dignity of the human being, the very identity of the human being, regardless of what our race is, our color, our gender, our faith and religious background. We are human beings. And as human beings, we need to love and respect everyone. And at the same time, that human identity to be always protected and preserved. It is the very identity which is God-given identity, and that is to have the freedom of speech and freedom of expressing their religious beliefs or whatever beliefs they have. Without being exposed to any violence, any terrorist attack, or being persecuted for just expressing their belief. The moment we oppress this very freedom of speech and religion, we are losing the very human identity and dignity as well. As a Christian, if someone, if another human being, um, does not believe in what I believe in, if another human being attacks my, my faith and attacks my Lord, that does not give me the right to go and cause harm to that person. This is inhumane. At a human level, it is unacceptable, unjustifiable. Christianity gets attacked all the time, but that does not give me the right just because someone has a, a different point of view and a different belief system. As a Christian, I do not have the right to carry a weapon or afflict any harm to that person. This is not acceptable, period. I just wish to say this. My prayer goes for the person who has done this act. I will always love this person. I've said it before and I'll say it again. He's my son and he will always be my son. He'll always be in my heart and in my prayers and my thoughts. And whatever the, whoever was behind this, um, I forgive them all in the name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let us not forget, as Australians, I say this with absolute confidence and from the bottom of my heart, I'm a, I'm a very proud Aussie. 
I'm a very proud Aussie. I'm a very proud Aussie. Tomorrow, we'll be celebrating the rem remembrance of Anzac. We salute those warriors who gave their life, who sacrificed their life for the very human identity and human dignity, and that is to keep the freedom of speech and the freedom of religion always given to that human to live and to be able to share with others. I salute those warriors who gave their life for Australia and for the very identity of Australia. I love this country. I'll always pray for my beloved country, Australia. And again, I will say I'm a very proud Aussie. The beauty of Australia is a multicultural, embraces all colors, all races, all religions, and keeps that freedom of speech and freedom of religion readily available at hand for whoever wishes to express or worship in whichever way they wish to do so. I do not wish for what has happened to me to be used as a way, as a mean to be a threat to the very human freedom and freedom of religion. We need to forgive one another. We need to pray for one another. We may disagree with one another, but that does not make us enemies. To the Australian government, we may agree and we may disagree on certain things, but that doesn't mean I don't pray for you or I don't love you. To Mr. Albanese, the Prime Minister of this nation, whether I agree with you or disagree, I can assure you you will always be in my prayers and there will never be nothing but love no matter what happens and this is the way we need to keep and and protect that human integrity that whether we agree or disagree the love and respect should never be compromised at all at any given time <sighs> I pray for everyone. I love everyone. I'm a proud Aussie, but above all, I'm a very proud Christian. Jesus Christ is my Lord, my God, my Savior, my Redeemer. This will never change by His grace and His, and His mercy. And I thank the Lord Jesus for always teaching me to love even those who have hurt me. It is something you can only live, you can only encounter, you can only taste when you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and God. May the Almighty, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, one God in nature, one God in essence, in Jesus' mighty name, I pray that this country of ours, Australia, is always blessed and protected, and the people who live in this blessed country of ours are always in good health and in good spirit. May the Lord Jesus bestow his peace in this troubled world. We pray for Israel, we pray for Palestine, we pray wherever there is trouble, whether, whether, wherever there is war, wherever there is famine, wherever there is natural disasters, we pray for the afflicted, we, play, we pray for those who are forgotten. We pray for everyone who is in need. And we should never lose track that no matter what happens, and no matter how many times we disagree or agree, no matter how many times we offend one another, we should always love and pray for one another. This is all I had to say in relation to this matter. And again, I make this emphasis, the human 
freedom of speech and freedom of religion should always be preserved and never to be compromised. May God, who is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as far as this Christian is concerned, bless, protect our beloved Australia, and may the remembrance of Anzac be always alive in our hearts, in our minds, in our thoughts, that we have these great Aussies that gave their life up for the very reservation and protection of human freedom of speech and religion. God bless you all. And uh, I pray that you're always, always in good health and in spirit. And may the Lord Jesus bestow his peace in the entire globe, in the entire world. Amen. God bless.